My name is Jacques Jiha, and I'm the Commissioner of Finance for the City of New York. I grew up in Cape Haitian in the mid-1970s. To me, that was the best time of my life. Um, we, at that time, Cape Haitian was a very uh, dynamic city. It was a tourist attraction. At that time, it was a tourist destination. So there were so many activities. The city was very peaceful. The city was very vibrant. Today, you have uh, Haitians leading the way in every aspect of society. Uh, you have Haitian CEOs, CFOs, CEOs, and you have in all level, at all level of government, you have Haitian elected officials and Haitian running things. So it is, uh, I'm very proud to be part of that group of dynamic, vibrant uh, community. And to me, that community has a big, bright future ahead of it. Uh, more than ever, your work, the work of the Asian Roundtable is needed because um, as an immigrant community, um, we are very vulnerable to xenophobic and racist demagogues. So therefore, we need uh, people to advocate on our behalf to redefine who we are, okay, the image of Haitian to show the rest of the world that because we have a lot to offer to the rest of the world, we simply have to make sure that someone is putting who we are in context. There are two major lessons that I learned uh, throughout my career. Uh, one is the power of education, and the other one is uh, the power of networking. Uh, I uh, tend to tell uh, young people to uh, stay in school, learn, and stay focused on the goals that you created for yourself. Because education um, creates upward mobility. Second thing, as I said, is the power of networking. Uh, networking, from my perspective, is the key for professionals to succeed in this country. Uh, I could give you an example of myself. I only interviewed twice uh, in my entire career for a job, okay? All my uh, positions, all the jobs that I had have been referred to by uh, people that I work with in previous positions, previous jobs. So networking and education from my perspective, the power of these two things are very, very, very powerful from my perspective. My uh, kids' generation uh, basically taking over um, and uh, they, uh, we pass on the baton to them and the direction I see that they're going is I'm very proud of them. I've been in finance for, for a long time. I've been doing this line of work for over close to 30 years now. The goal at the end of the day is to make sure we're opening up doors uh, for Haitians. To me, it's not just enough to be the first. You have to have a, big, a lot of people following you, following your footsteps. So that is where I put all my energy all, uh, you know, so to make sure that I open up doors for folks who are following me, who are coming behind me. <laughs>